I wanted to ex explore a full live life. So I wanted to, to look at what are the consequences of having lived in a certain area, how is it all interconnected, um, and that's why I wanted the stories to be linked, because I wanted to, to every story to kind of be in conversation with, with the, the, each other. You know, it to me really was, how can your teenage life ex ex influence your young adult life? How can your childhood influence you at your, in your 30s? Um, so yeah, I wanted to just, I wanted a full picture. My name is Tam Mutanji. The title of my book is Shut Up You're Pretty. Shut Up You're Pretty is a collection of length short stories following Loli, which is a protagonist and the narrator of the entire collection. And we meet her at the, about the age of six and we follow her all the way to roughly 25 mid-twenties. The main themes in the book to me really centers around womanhood and not womanhood as a personal journey, but definitely as a collective whole. Um, I don't think it's possible to, to be a woman and not be influenced by another woman. And I really wanted to test the limits and the boundaries and the sometimes toxic codependence of those kind of relationship where you are being hyperly influenced or hyperly attached uh, with the setting, with an environment, with, with the city, with parents, um, with friends. That was definitely the biggest theme for me personally. There is a humongous amount of emotional labor that comes with being a writer of color. I'm not a non-writer of color, so I can't really speak to that to that reality. But in my experience, the second I, I published my book, it's like my my workload of that identity got like tripled, where now I'm having these discussions on um, immigrant livelihood and on what it means to be a person that belongs to one country but to another as well. Now I'm having it professionally on a professional level and I'm having it in network circles, but I'm also surprisingly having it now in my personal life. Um, I think because your friends that you grew up with, people you grew up with, they just know you as you first and they actually forget that you have this additional reality and my friends would, they would hear an interview I did or they would, uh, they actually picked up my book and they were like, you lived where? And these are things that I guess I never felt the need to necessarily talk about. So I've come to a point where I'm 25 and I'm suddenly exhausted. Like everything is just tiring. And then I learned about emotional labor, which I of course learned from fellow black writers who, who told me you've got to make sure you're not overdoing it. You know, you have to accept boundaries. Like it's cool if you want to be educating people in your personal life and it's cool that you do these interviews and you're open and willing to talk about these things, but it's not your primary job, your primary job. So like, know that. How do I define success as an author? I mean, I haven't really thought much of what that would look like. If your goal is to be a writer and you get up in the morning and you write, I do think that that is success enough for me. I hope people take away from my book the balance in life. I try to look at, at um, motherhood through the eyes of balance, when it can be not good, when it can be good. And I try to look at independence the same way, friendship, love, healing, all of that. Like I, I really hope that people can find the balance in their lives through reading Jolie's journey to balance, I guess. <laughs>